where can he be? I mean, it's the, how do you vanish like this? I mean, it's I don't know. I don't have the words. Nothing adds up. Well, the mystery is growing in a worldwide travel destination just as the summer vacation travel season picks up. It's been nearly a week now since an American tourist went missing in Greece. In recent weeks, five tourists have turned up dead or are missing. And tonight, the New York Times is reporting an American who was found dead on Sunday was a 55-year-old man from Nassau County. Now to a tragic ending for an American tourist in Greece. The 55-year-old who vanished last week was found dead on a beach. And now Greek authorities are searching for another American tourist, a retired L.A. County Sheriff's deputy. Retired L.A. County Sheriff's deputy Albert Calibut, who went missing earlier this week after setting off on a hike on the island of Amorgos. Locals report seeing Calibut hiking the day he disappeared, looking strong. An area the retired deputy has hiked several times in the past. Any case that we do searching for a missing person that we can't find keeps me up at night. Um, you know, kind of going through what could he have done? What, what, what was his thought process? Did he get injured? Each dot on this map of Greece by Newsweek represents where six tourists have vanished or been found dead in five areas just this month. I wouldn't say there's a tie. I think that maybe the um, consistent factor is the heat that they're experiencing. Friends and family told CBS News Friday that Caleb had visited the island for years and knew the hiking trails. It doesn't make sense. It, um, it's like it's swallowed him. Calibut is one of several tourists who have gone missing on Greek islands in recent weeks. At least three people have been found dead, including prominent British TV doctor Michael Mosley. Dr. Michael Mosley's wife has described her husband as wonderful, funny, kind and brilliant after his body was found on a Greek island after a five-day search. Local media made the sad find only metres from a beach bar packed with holidaymakers. The question tonight, how did he end up there? Holiday goers know the search is underway, but everyone says the same thing. This island is so small, how can someone simply vanish? He's understood to have left his wife on St Nicholas Beach at 1.30 on Wednesday to go for a walk back to their accommodation where he was seen on CCTV. He didn't have his phone on him. Ten minutes later, he passes through Petty Marina. He should have taken an inland path to his accommodation, but he heads in the wrong direction, up a mountain track in scorching heat. Now, excessive heat warnings have been in place on the island, including on the day he disappeared. I mean, what is making this so mysterious is trying to figure out, I mean, not only is he a very sensible adult man, but he's a doctor too. A 67-year-old world-famous doctor, he's most well known for his myth-busting work on diet and exercise. Since the 1980s, Michael Mosley has become a trusted voice on health matters, a former medic turned journalist. It's understood the body and an umbrella was found near a dangerous cave area known as the Abyss, Authorities believe the body is that of the missing presenter. Dr Michael Mosley was discovered just metres from safety on the fence line up against a beachside resort. Of course, this search had been going across a wide area for five days. And despite helicopter searches, ground teams all over the area, they didn't spot the body of the man that was just so close to so many other holiday makers. In the end, he was found by accident. It's emerged a Greek television crew were filming with the mayor and only noticed the body in their shot when they got back to edit their pictures. Exactly, this is what the police spokeswoman uh, also said, and the authorities as well. How can he have been, you know, how can he have been vanished from, from the face of the earth? It is a small island, search and rescue everywhere, people walking into finding divers, drones, even there was a um, thermal imaging drone that is able to detect like heat signatures in the night. Um, so uh, looking through, scouring the island, the sea, the land, how, how, can, how, how can there be no sign of uh, Dr. Michael Mosley? This is what makes it strange. It's as if he left the island, but you know, obviously if he had left, taken a boat or something, someone would have seen him, they would have seen the news, it's all over the news as well. So where, where, you know, where, the, where his whereabouts where is are, is, it's very strange. Mm, it is indeed. Uh, Daphne Tullis, good to see you this morning. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for having me. It's extraordinary because he also left without his phone. Mm. 
Now his disappearance is making news around the world. A feeling familiar to Gary Tossel, whose father John went missing on the neighbouring Greek island of Zante five years ago. When I read the story, is a cut and paste of my father. It is, he went for a walk and vanished in the thin air. And obviously as a family, we on the phone, we got together. We were like going, this is, this is surreal. We have new details tonight in the search for a retired sheriff's deputy missing on a small island in Greece. Family members have suspended the search for a retired L.A. County Sheriff's deputy from Hermosa Beach who went missing in Greece last month. 59-year-old Albert Calibet was reported missing on June 11th after going for a hike on the Greek island of Amorgos and then failing to meet a friend for lunch. Family, friends and volunteers from the Sheriff's Department have been aiding in the search. His brother says zero evidence of Albert was found on the island, leading him to fear that Albert may have met with foul play. But Calibert was a frequent visitor to the island and an experienced hiker. Greek police are studying this surveillance video obtained by Mega Live News that appears to show Calibert before his hike. He was supposed to meet a friend for lunch afterwards, but he never arrived. According to people in Greece, a group of walkers met up Tuesday at 7 a.m. There's confirmation Calibé was seen at 11 a.m. at a small refreshment stand getting water. A friend was waiting at the end of the hike, but Calibé never showed up. The friend started calling him on the phone, but there was no answer. His friend then reported him missing to the local authorities. He was on um, a well-traveled path, and he was meeting a friend at the end of the path, and he was continuing on his path when somebody saw him an hour later. Um, so now we're able to narrow the search area a little bit because we can go an hour further down the path. You know, it's a four-hour trail or a five-hour trail. They should have been able to see him on the trail by now. It doesn't make sense. It, um, it's like it's swallowed him.